Welcome to the Basketball Playoffs Preview, everybody, presented by FTX, where you don't need to be an expert to buy, sell, or trade crypto. He's Shirag Hira. I'm Emerson Lotsi. A word from DraftKings. We're looking at Wednesday's NBA playoff slate. A couple of game fives to break down here. The Bucks and Celtics back in Boston, tied up at two. While the Warriors are going to look to close out the Grizzlies, exactly. they're leading that series 3-1. So let's start with what you are buying into this Wednesday. I'm buying the Celtics after how they played in Milwaukee. In both games three and four, the Celtics dominated in the fourth quarter, and I expect that to carry over to a strong start in game five. While Giannis has been playing at an MVP level, Boston is just deeper than Milwaukee without Chris Middleton. Jason Tatum was able to find his groove after playing his worst playoff performance, and Al Horford has found the fountain of youth. The Celtics had the most points in the paint of the series in game four with 48, and I expect that to open up the three-point shot in a pivotal game five at home. All right, so what's the story you are selling from these game fives? Well, I'm looking to sell the Grizzlies. After barely losing game four against the Warriors on the road, it's easy to think that they'll be able to take game five back at home. John Morant may even push through that knee sprain with the season on the line, but the Warriors are not having a historically poor shooting performance again. Klay Thompson, Jordan Poole, and Andrew Wiggins combined to just hit one three-pointer in 15 attempts, with Steph Curry also going 4-14. Look for the Warriors to shoot much better in Memphis and close out the series. All right, finally, who could benefit from a trade here? Maybe within their own lineup. Okay, I'm looking for the Grizzlies, if they don't want to watch their season end, to make a lineup trade. The move should be DeAnthony Melton for Dylan Brooks. With John Morant out on Monday, Melton played just nine minutes off the bench. This was extremely surprising, especially with Brooks getting 39 minutes and shooting five for 19. The Grizzlies succeed in the regular season without John Morant due to the quality depth and it's time to put that to use if Morant is limited or unable to return. All right, good stuff, Shrog. Thank thanks. you, and thanks to all of you for watching. Enjoy the games.